It's Saturday Night Live. It's first live studio broadcast in seven months with former cast member Chris Rock as host. President Trump's in the hospital uh, from COVID, and I just want to say my heart goes out to COVID. So. <laughs> Alec Baldwin picking up where he left off. Boring. <laughs> Mr. President, I haven't even introduced the candidates yet. Tell that to my Adderall, Chris. So let's get this show on the road and off the rails. Just one second, Chris. And Jim Carrey as Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden. It looks like you're ready to debate, Joe. Absolutely not. But uh, I've got the beginning of 46 fantastic ideas. <laughs> SNL alum Maya Rudolph reprised her role as Kamala Harris. America needs a WAP. Woman as president. <laughs> The show also included performances by Megan Thee Stallion, who called out the Kentucky Attorney General for his handling of the Breonna Taylor case. We need to protect our black women. And a touching tribute to Ruth Bader Ginsburg, portrayed by SNL star Kate McKinnon. After broadcasting from their homes, the cast finally back at 30 Rock. Frontline workers treated to front row seats. And there were plenty of COVID-19 precautions, including mandatory masks and daily testing. I haven't had so much stuff up my nose since I shared a dressing room with Chris Farley. <laughs> in order to safely bring all the laughs in person to our strange new normal. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News.